You already know what's good, what's poppin', what's happening, it's your girl Tamara, and today I am back again with another video. Intoxicated vibes, I need you off my mind, look up in the sky, my inner thoughts telling me what Hey guys, alright, so, I'm pretty sure you guys all read the title, before we get into this video, just a little disclaimer. Yes, I have a retainer in, so it may sound like I have a lisp. If you're one of those people who do not like people who talk like that, please exit my video. Thanks, love. I had wrote everything down because there was a lot of things I wanted to hit on. So, the first two questions is probably where, where have you been? Like, you know, what's been going on? How are you mentally? Like, what's going on with that? Um, all right. So I'm gonna just give y'all the whole little backstory. So after I had moved down here, um, a lot was changing for me, like getting used to the culture down here, getting used to the weather, getting used to my schedule because I, I kind of had a schedule back in LA. Like I kind of knew what my day consists of. Out here it was different. And then I had moved with a totally different sister who acts completely different than the one I was living with like my whole life. Yeah, all right. So there was pros and cons of me moving down here. I would say the first year was a lot of lessons learned. So I'm gonna consider that a pro and a con. But for me, when it came to social media wise, it was a lot of cons with me. Starting with the fact that when I moved in with my sister and her significant other at the time, they weren't too fond of social media. And I'm being honest, she's not to this day. So I feel like it was a lot of What's the word? I'm not gonna say it was a lot of hate, but it felt that way for me. It was real negative. It wasn't supportive at all. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. The support just wasn't there and the motivation wasn't either. Like, it would be times, anything I did just kind of felt like a slap in the face. She just was like, not picking on me, but that's kind of what it felt like. Everything I did, she or he always had something to say about it. So it was not like fun for me. Even just the way I dressed, my eyelashes, my hair, the way I talked, all of that, everything was like a big no always hearing somebody say something about everything you do it get real discouraging like and then she's not as fond of people making a real career out of social media either she really wants me to like get a job do this do that they kind of had like a, an older mindset mind you they are very much older than me but like their mindset is just totally different in a way they have common sense but it's like i'm young i'm ambitious i have all these dreams i got so much i want to do for myself right now hearing that is just like you know it really does take a toll on somebody so it just felt like a lot of it just felt like i just was not supported as much as i was like in la as the months went on i kind of just you know, I just wasn't in the groove of making social media videos. If you guys didn't notice when my mother had passed away, I was still trying to be consistent and still trying to, you know. It was really hard posting on Instagram and stuff. I just didn't have the drive for that. So, I'm pretty sure those who are still following me, y'all can tell. Like, my world completely changed. As for the most recent video that you guys probably seen, which was the scrubs, I'm assuming. You guys are probably wondering, like, what's going on with that? Like, why are you wearing scrubs? Why does that look like a classroom setting? Am I back in school? Um, yes, I am back in school. I'm not in a regular, like, university. I'm in a trade school. I was doing college right before I moved out here, but it was just a lot for me. Mentally, I had just lost my mom. My mental wasn't there, so. And then living in a house that she used to live in we all used to live in. it just was too much for me i got out here and i started going to school yeah i'm in school i'm not in school for nursing but i am in school for aesthetic that's why you see a lot of us with uh scrubs on or yeah me with scrubs on in case you guys are wondering why i got on scrubs or like what profession i'm um, kind of going towards that's just something i kind of want to do it's still not as important as content creating but yeah um all right two other questions how have i been feeling and what's been helping me to stay motivated lately i've kind of just been feeling a little out of it that plays a big role as to why i haven't been posting either I'm getting back into it, trying to train my mind to be more positive and get back on that track I was. Um, back in what, 2020 and early 2021 when I was like really consistent with YouTube. So yeah, I'm trying to just kind of 
set my mindset to that and focus more on the goals and the stuff I still want to do while blocking out the other stuff, you know, like, because it's still a lot of stuff that I don't want to hear that I always hear on a daily basis from family. There's that. I just decided I'm going to stop worrying about what other people think and I'm going to stop letting it get to me and just do the stuff that I want to do because in the long run, I don't want to have no regrets. Oh, what's been helping me stay motivated? Honestly, my friends and my boyfriend. Definitely them. They are like my number one supporters, for real. Like, even the ones that you saw in my most recent video at school, they're like great friends, for real. They always push me and they believe in me and so does my boyfriend. So that, that that's definitely what's keeping me motivated. I know a lot of you are probably wondering like, where's the music? Do I still sing? Do I still write? Yes, I still sing. I still write. And believe it or not, I've been doing that since I got here. I just have not been posting none of it. I actually got more songs done than I've ever got songs done in LA. I've, I got a few songs. I got a good amount of songs if you ask me. I just gotta post, honestly. So yeah, I'll definitely be posting more music soon. Yeah, I don't know how soon because with me, I like my music to have quality over quantity. I don't care how many songs I make, the quality has to be there. If it's not, I am not just going to push out anything. As much as my friends say that it is really good, I know what I like to hear and I know what a lot of other people would like to hear as well. So, I kind of just try and make my music as high quality as possible and push out the high quality music that I feel like will get me somewhere. If it's music that I just like, that's cool too, but I'm going to keep that in the vaults. Alright, let me just make sure that's everything. I'm at 10 minutes already. Alright y'all, so that's basically everything that's kind of been like holding me back from posting and why I went MIA for about a year or two and why it's really hard for me to just stay consistent and stay motivated. But yeah, that's really all. Um, but because I tell myself I'm not going to let nobody dictate my future or um i'm not gonna worry about what everyone has to say anymore that's close by me that i love i decided i'm gonna be more consistent with the stuff that i want to do because it's a lot of regrets that they probably had growing up and i hear it all the time when i'm um when i'm talking to like random people i always ask them like what's one question you would i mean what's one um thing you would tell me at this age that somebody that you wish somebody told you and they just said, this is for multiple people, whatever it is, go for it, start now. I'm young, I'm youthful, I hear it all the time. And I think another problem of mine last year was the fact that I kept thinking, damn, I'm too old, like, I'm running out of time, da da da. I mean, time is going, but I'm, you feel me, like, if I put my mind to it, because, like, I've done it before, I can get it done again. So, that's that, um yeah <laughs> um that's really all y'all so it was just a lot for me mentally but i feel like i'm back where i want to be and i'm in a better i have a better head on my shoulders if that makes sense and i'm just ready to take it all like no matter how hard it is how long it takes i'm just ready for it so yeah I want to thank y'all for everything. I want to thank those who have been steady supporting me even through times like this where I just went completely MIA, where um, where I just don't post anymore and they, they still check up on me. I really do appreciate those. Even, it's crazy, it's, it's like strangers who do that, like people who just think I'm pretty and then they just end up like fucking with my vibe. I really want to thank y'all, but yeah. I'll be, I'm back posting now, and I hope this cleared up everything, all the questions that you guys have been wondering within the past year or so. So yeah, that's all for today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you're not, just like and comment. I love y'all. Bye. Been drinking way too much stuff, that's just why. You said that I've been going through some But boy, I think my love for you been changing. Or maybe you're the one in you're my keeper It's been way too hard for you to keep up